giant swamp rats are destroying Louisiana. They're called Nutria and they're so bad that the state is actually paying people $6 a tail just to kill them. And in this video, we're gonna do everything we can to do just that. We're also gonna be taking a look at Louisiana's hog problem and what exactly makes them a problem. And then we're gonna be hopping on some airboats to chase them down and take them out. We're gonna be teaming up with my cousin Jared from outside the levees. He lives in Southern Louisiana, so he's out here dealing with these pests all the time. After we hopped in Jared's boat, it was time to head from inside the levees where the boat ramp was to outside the levees where these Nutra have been causing such a big problem. swamp rats are called Nutria. They're invasive and originally from Argentina. They were brought to America whenever the fur trade was pretty big, but it didn't take them long to escape out into the wild. And ever since, these Nutria have been burrowing like crazy and eroding Louisiana's much needed marshlands. Which one, anyone? That one. All right. All right, guys, we're here. We're hunting Nutria. All right, y'all ready? We're ready. Is that prime Nutria habitat? You can see how they kind of have it ate down and laid down too, you know? They run over the same spots, they dig tunnels, they eat like a lot. So that, you know, you can see it just doesn't look healthy. Even though it's the dead of winter, you can see they've been in here eating a lot. So yeah, we're just cruising, watching. If we see one, pull up, shoot. You're ready with two hands, Ethan. eat up by this thing. He kind of looks like right in the middle of like a beaver and a muskrat. He's got the muskrat tail. The teeth of a beaver. Do these guys chomp on trees or do they cut down trees? Um, yeah, so like the marsh is, is in trouble. It's 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 uh, eroding all that. So we try to plant cypress trees and you have to put a protector around it because the neutral will come and, and chew on the tree, I guess, to sharpen wow. their teeth. Yeah. This thing's big. Is this a big one or about average? That's about average, bro. Wow. We, can, we should see bigger than that. That thing's crazy. I know. <laughs> All right. On to the next one. Here we go. Oh, we got him. On the move. Let's go. Reload. There Make you sure. Go. There you go. Stay in the game. Yeah, Let's hop off and get this guy. He's good. You want the small ones to eat? Well, they're going to be a lot more tender, so he's pretty good. Sweet. All right, let's roll. We got another one to get. They're right over here. They had one up here on the right. He was in the water. He may have gone in to hide, or we might catch him flipping. These like the ones we're seeing right now, mostly in the water. Going for that little mid morning to swim, you know? We're here to kind of interrupt that a little bit. Interrupting the swim. Here's one, here's one. Right here, 
camera. Uh, I seen him too. Like they're that. smart. Maybe. I think yeah. He was saying some of these probably been shot at before, so they know what a boat is. They act like it. Right. down right here we're leaving him we're gonna see if we can find that other one we saw head on Be a little bit more ratty. We gotta get like a napalm. We can just come back at night with thermal. We'll do that. I'm just saying. There we go. Alright, we should start seeing a bunch. There you go. <laughs> you know. Nice. That was quick too. Another Nutria. He's what about dry. that? That's crazy. Now you can see what their fur looks like when it's not wet, because this guy ain't been in the water for a minute. Now that we've domed a few right here pretty good, what is your shotgun shell of choice? Uh, number two steel. Number two steel number shot. Number two steel shot, yeah. You got to figure we're still in an area with lots and lots of waterfowl. Louisiana is like the end of the Mississippi Flyway, so shooting that non-toxic steel shot is still a good thing to do. Right now we're still riding around on the boat, but here in a minute we're going to be hopping out, kind of do it, just walking through this and seeing if we can walk up on some and shoot them. There's one like in a weird, weird boat thing. We're going to get him. We're going on land for this one. There you go. Nutria Swamp Rat. What more could you ask for? There's another one right over there, but I'm out of ammo. So. We're taking this Nutria back to the boat. Then I'm loading up the KG panty pack with some shotgun shells because we it looks like we may be needing a few. Some of them take one shot, some of them take five. Well, you'll see like these new shoots. So, like this is what one of the things they do. This new shoots coming up. Yep. Look, they chewed it right off. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then, that, like I said, they, they burrow under. So like where we're walking here, they got tunnels under us. And that's so, I mean, one you of can imagine what that does. To, like this stuff is already not super strong, you know. So when you're tunneling underneath it, it's killing root systems. Okay. And then it's just kind of—is it washing? Once the root systems get out, is it just like washing away? Yeah. There goes a rat. Yeah, a real rat. rat. <laughs> you safe today, buddy? Where we at? The northern. The inside the levee. Inside the levee. Oh boy, 30. Time to go eat. That's right, we got a fat Kendall up. He come down here like Kentucky skinny. I'm gonna send him home, Louisiana chunky. We've been talking about this thing called a po' boy, that is it. And it, 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 what really makes it a po' boy is this style of bread. Originated in New Orleans, I believe when they were building the railroad. They had to feed a lot of people. They had to do it cheaply, so they would take like the leftovers and then put it on a bread like this. Mm. Po' boy, poor boy. That's the origin now. It's, it's nice and fancy with lettuce and tomato and ham and cheese. And...
All right, guys, we're in Walmart. Me and Ethan's both sunburnt. Might pick up some sunscreen, but more importantly, in the morning, we're going hog hunting from an airboat, and we're here to pick up buckshot. But this Walmart's bigger than four of ours combined, so. Thank you, sir. That way. This place never ends. Over. All right, let's go see. We need buckshot. 12 gauge buckshot. All right, we good shape. We need about two boxes of them. We ready to rock and roll. All right, guys, we got the shotgun shells. It's about that time to go to bed. What are you thinking, Ethan? Uh. We going to buckshot some hogs out of an airboat in the morning. Well, I'm excited for it. I'm absolutely sunburned. I feel like a lobster. Well, I am a lobster. Ready to rock and roll? Yep. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Extreme problems call for extreme measures. That's right. You know, the magnitude of the problem of the hog, we gotta match that. plan is we are going to get in these air boats we're going to go over sea we're going to go over land hell or high water we're going to find these hogs wherever they may be because we got to get them out of here they are destructive they root things up they eat things up we're going to protect baby rabbits in the process bird eggs whatever it is that those hogs eat we got to go try and get as many of them as we can out. and we got the horsepower to do it if you can't tell you got your Lion King sunglasses? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. I was worried yeah. you might have forgotten. I got them, I got them. Okay. Oh, thank you. So here's the game plan. Since these airboats can pretty much go anywhere in the marsh, we're going to be splitting up into three different airboats. We're going to pick off a section of the marsh and essentially drive through the marsh. As we bust up a bunch of hogs, every airboat for themselves, pick a hog, chase it down, gun it down. Every pig we can eliminate from the marsh is saving Louisiana one pig at a time. Now, without further ado, let's fire up these airboats and let's get started. Guys, we all three split up, and I think we all three got at least one. Yep, we all at least got one. Wow, what about that? All right, as you can see here, this is a big, big area where they turned it into a big wallow. This is a wetland. 
we need these wetlands for protection from hurricanes, uh, to, you know, for habitat, for deer, for rabbits, for, for everything that really needs it. But these hogs came in here, made this big old wallow in this area. And that's the kind of destruction that we're trying to get them to stop doing. That's why we're hunting. to the airboat. <laughs> About 200. We've 200 added 200 pounds? pounds? Yeah, at least. Yeah. We're starting to feel it, huh? Oh, we're starting to feel it. Just need to go drop them off. <laughs> we gotta go drop these off so that our airboat can shed some weight, so stay we on top. So we get some weight off so we can keep on top of them. Keep on keeping up. That's a big one there. Yeah, that's a big one. That's the biggest one yet. Yeah, the big size. Four, 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 two, four, four, five, Nine. Oh yeah, we're working on them. <laughs> so far, so good. We've been killing so many hogs that it's literally weighing down our airboats. So we're gonna have to take them to a drop-off location to shed some weight. They all do need a village right there. That's, that's a stringer. Later. Now we're gonna catch and clean and cook. Yeah, we'll come back and get those later. We're going to get a few more. It's big. It's a big hole there. Eh? Big boar, right? Big boar. Oh gosh, son. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. How big you reckon he is? Oh, he's probably around 250 or so. 250? Oh gosh. That gets See hold that? of your trouble. Oh yeah. Now that hurt you there. Gosh, and it's razor, it's razor sharp razor on there. Razor sharp. Yeah, that'll mess you up. Razor sharp. My one handed wasn't as good as yours, but I, I hit him at least with one pellet. Hey, but he's dead. He's dead now. Yeah, let's go find some more. Let's do it. Yeah, let's go find some more. Here. Louisiana very often. That is redneck, son. 
I'm a real redneck. Yeah, you, you went all in on redneck. <laughs> what I really like about this is that not only were we able to kill a bunch of hogs to help out this marsh, but by the time we got back to the boat ramp, we already had people waiting on us that were gonna take the hogs to eat them. So although these are extreme invasive species and they are a huge pest, they're not going to waste whatsoever. These things taste great and people love to eat them. And before we head back out for a thermal nutria hunt, we're making a pit stop at Jared's house where he's gonna show us how he cooks up these nutria to turn them into something amazing. Are you sure, sure, sure what's going on? What are we doing? We're gonna do a Cajun rice and gravy. Alright guys, we're about to go nighttime thermal hunting for the Nutria. This is the weapon of choice. This is the gun that we actually brought from home. It's the new SIG MCXR. Got it rigged up with a the thermal. We got the thermal handheld. And we went ahead and packed 80 rounds of ammo and the suppressor. Should be pretty cool. So what are you thinking, Ethan? More than shooting rats, though. I want to see somebody like wrestle an alligator. <laughs> I want to see him wrestle an alligator. Gang. We got him. Let's see it. The game's gonna fall out. Huh? A gun. Uh oh. Snuck it on the airplane, they didn't even notice. Got a little, yeah. got a little competition on the water. That's a, that's a Lambo. I gotta thank the sponsor of this whole video, Kendall Gray. Kendall Gray yeah, Outdoors.com. It's www.kendallgrayoutdoors.com. Outdoors.com. There you go. Kendallgray1.com slash shop. Not anymore. We switched. It. Not anymore. Don't go to that one, but it'll probably pull it up. Yeah, it will. That's right. That's right. I sponsor. This is expensive. <laughs> that's them. This, this is expensive. He's got to feed me. Yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> yeah. He does get to swim. <laughs> you swimming, pal. Somebody's got to swim. What kind of distance are we estimating here? I'm gonna try to keep you 20 yards or less. Oh wow. We'll put the shooter here at all times, extra, you know, uh, filmer there, and then Ethan's gonna drive so I can shoot, so. <laughs> you put me in the Like bumper drive? cars, you know, he'll be bumping <laughs> into stuff, but Ethan, we'll be all right, this is both stuff. Telling me to drive? Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, you don't know me. I Mud motor? Can you do that? Mud motor? You I can drive anything. See the way it flipped down yeah it's just, that was crazy it's like a beaver it is a beaver they're both big rodents yeah so. got some up on the left here some up on the left no matter where the boat's pointing the front of the boat is 12. okay so we'll work around the clock and i'll try to give you yardage it's hard to tell like this thing um are you using the thermal yeah this is a thermal spotter oh nice so but it's it's like it's hard to tell distance you know all right you got one coming up there's a tree laying down in the water I think I see him. He's up, he's up there on the left. Yeah, I see yeah. him. He's moving now. Right. What do you want me to do? Take him whenever? Or wait until we get closer? Whenever you got the shot, you take him. Okay. He's back behind some stuff? Alright. I think he went off in a hole, maybe. We seen our second one, but he kind of scurried off. I didn't, I didn't have enough. We'll get the next one. Don't they're, worry. They're smarter. They're pretty smart. On the right. On the right. Don't shoot. I think he's floating. Yeah, I can see him kicking. Yeah. First nighttime nutria down. We will take it. Let's see. We normally grab him by the tail. All right. Oh. There you 
We got him. Heck yeah. I'll hold him outside the boat. There he Oh, okay. Ooh. I'll take that. Okay. <laughs> you got him. There we go. That's $6. Not $6 for me, but $6 for somebody. Yeah, we got two more on. I'll let you check them. Like good to me. Normally when they're in pairs like that, it's always good. Ready? Yep. All right, that one is down for sure. Another one down? Another one down. Yeah, he didn't move. All right, so the way we're doing this, I have this thermal scanner. Jared has a thermal scanner. And then once we find one, I mean, you know, I pull up the thermal gun and we shoot it. You just shoot it. Yeah, the gun's getting a little heavy, especially when you're doing this for like five minutes straight. So this thing right here, the scanners, they help a pretty good bit. Gators are cold-blooded. Can you see gators on thermal? I don't think so. Wow. Cold-blooded. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. Alright, that time he's he's good. He's good now. Here's the one straight ahead this way. Oh. He, Go. Dang, I need to get I need to straighten up on my shots here. Pick him up by the tail. There you go. Alright, there we go. Right. Oh, there we go on the left. On the left. On the left. Yeah, he's on the water's edge. Alright, I got you. Come on. Alright, that was good. All right, that was good. Still there. There we go. You could hear that one hit him. I believe he's right under this. There we go. Yes, sir. We'll take it. I got one in the water up ahead. <clears throat> okay, I see it. All right. You got him. There's one over to our right. Up on the right. I see him, yeah. At about your one o'clock, he's getting out now. Oh, there's one straight in front of us, too. He's getting out. Raunchy. Dude, you exploded it. There's just like a pool in there of red. He didn't miss, that's for sure. Yeah. This way and one that one. Just Lock. a hand signal. All right. I don't know what you said. Oh, in the water, I see it. He went down. How long do they go down? Do what? How long do they go down? Long time or short time? Uh, no, uh-uh. A minute, dots. Oh, okay. Putting this gun to work tonight. That's right, let's do second reload? Most, yeah, second reload, and we came with a mag full. So we're halfway through our ammo, and this is the most action this gun's ever seen, which is not really saying much, but it's it's always good. Right. Let's 
speed load, speed load. Got one on my left, on my left. I'll shoot it, then we'll go from there. All right, Ethan, swap me places. You're up to shoot. Oh, dang. Oh, yeah. All right, Ethan, get in there. Crisscross applesauce. Let's make it happen. Just scan for them? Yeah, you can. That's probably fish. Looks like we got one way up there about to cross the middle. The one on the left-hand bank. Did you get him, Ethan? Yeah, he's down. Nice. Let's see it, Ethan. First nutria. That's right. There we go. He goes. So now what? Shoot another yeah, one? Yeah, so now shoot another one. All right. <laughs> Ethan's going to tip the boat over. I will tip the boat over. <laughs> Ethan, what'd you say? I feel like a Somali pirate. <laughs> Is that good or bad? Depends who you ask. Yeah, nearly 12 o'clock. He's still moving. Right here on the left. Over his head. There we go. What do you think about Nutria? I want to come back and shoot them. Like, this is really fun. I thought it was pretty fun, man. Oh, yeah. It's uh, a lot of shoot. A lot of shoot. A lot of shoot. I think we, I think we shot 58 rounds tonight. It's a target-rich environment. Very target-rich. Huge thanks for Jared for taking us out on this adventure. Click over here to check out a West Virginia bear hunt or right over here for chasing down a mystery critter that had been killing all my chickens.